Hello and welcome to DEX, a free design weekly exercise from the Graphic Design School. My name is Jackie and I'm going to show you how to do a repeat pattern in Illustrator. And then for advance we'll move into Photoshop where we will place them on a 3D legging. So to start with we'll go into Illustrator. And here you can see my design inspiration to create the daisy I have below. I created mine with the tool blob brush which sits under paint brushes and is shift B. So to start we'll start a new document. We'll do a large document um, of 60 by 60 centimeters because we'll need it that big for Photoshop. Okay and I'll grab our design here. So select, edit, copy, go to our new page, edit and paste. Command V. Zoom in here. Now just delete this background. It does make it hard that I have done a white design on the white background but we should be fine. So if you get a square, we'll do from the rectangle tool, hold down the shift and that will create a square. Now it's sitting over our design. So we need to go to object, arrange and center back, which is command, shift and back bar. Now I like to put the square sitting with a little bit of space in three corners. So this design here will, will repeat itself to sit over these corners. Now we'll be working with um, keyboard increments to get a perfect repeat. So we need to look at how big this square is. So we'll go into properties and our square here is 8.171 but we'll just make it a nice even 8. Then we'll go into keyboard increments which is command K or if you go into illustrator preferences and general. So we'll make those increments 8 centimeters. Okay now we're ready to repeat so if we grab the whole design including the background and do command option and right click that repeats it exactly eight centimeters to the right grab the whole design command option left click and then we'll take it up so we'll do command option up and then we'll need to go see how it's sitting here in this corner. So we'll need to go Option Command left click because we'll need it sitting in this corner. And then we will grab these two designs here and Option Command. We'll remove all these backgrounds. We only need the one black square. And then I also like to just clean up a bit of the extra flowers sitting around the edge that aren't affecting the black square just to make it less confusing for us. Now we'll just zoom in and now we need to look at the layering so here you see these four flowers are the same flower repeated in each corner and they need to be sitting over the top of the other flowers um, then we have these yellow flowers sitting on top of the white and it's not affecting this top one and then we might just split up the white flowers and bring this one to the front so it's command shift front bar or object arrange bring to front Okay, so now we are ready to create a clipping mask. So to do that we need two squares. We need our background and then we need a square sitting over the top. 
So we'll do Command C to copy. Command F places it in front. So now we have two squares. Let's pop that back there. One square we would like locked because we don't want it to be affected. So that's Command 2. And the second square we'll bring to the front. So Command, Shift and Front Bar. Then we'll go over our flowers and the square sitting at the front and create a clipping mask which is in object clipping mask and make now it looks like it is ready to move into the swatches panel but we've got one more step to do so if you do command Y you'll see that all of this detail is still sitting in the background behind the square so we need to remove that from around the square to do that we'll merge so we will go into Pathfinder and merge that print and now we are ready to pop it into the swatches panel but we can't forget to unlock that background so that is command shift 2 I'll pop it into the swatches and hopefully everything is correct for us. Let's move this out of the way. And now we'll draw an object. And there we are, we have our repeat. Now the um, next Part of this exercise is to get it into Photoshop so if you'd like to do the advanced step you'll need to purchase a 3d mock-up or if you have one already but this one I got from the creative market and you'll see the link in the Dex notes so this is the artwork here now the artist has given us some notes on how to add our design so I've gone into those and if you read here to paste your own design double click on default texture which is here to open the pattern and down here once you're in that section place your design above this example layer so one thing that's very important is to go back into Illustrator and save that file. So save as, and under White Daisy, we will call it White Daisy Repeat. Into Photoshop once again, and open the Layers panel. As the artist had said, we'll go into this double click on this section and we need to place our artwork just above the example so we'll go file there's two options place embedded or place linked I like to do place linked because if we make any changes in Illustrator it'll automatically update okay and we'll place that by pressing return and save if we go to the front page, we'll see that our legging has got our repeat on it. Now, I feel like that design is looking too large for these leggings. So to change that, we'll need to go back into Illustrator. And we'll pull our swatch out here. If you hold the shift and the corner and to scale it down, Quite a bit smaller, I feel. Pull it back in the swatches panel. And we'll have to update this art board with the smaller swatch. And we'll save that. And that should, because we linked it in Photoshop, that should automatically update when we go back into this area. There we go, it's already made it smaller for us. We'll save that. 
there we go it's looking pretty good one other thing we can do is go into the background and uh, down to the half circle press solid color and we can just make a bit more of an interesting background press ok there you are we have a repeat pattern on leggings